Hello boys and girls. Um, today we are going to create a toucan inspired by this painting that was created by Henry Rousseau. Um, he was very famous for his paintings of the jungle, which is interesting because he actually never went to the jungle. And so um, he imagined a lot of what the jungle would look like. And he also went to the zoo and the um, conservatory to kind of look at things there and put those things in his painting. Now, to make the toucan today, we have a set of directions that we're gonna follow. Um, the first step that we're gonna make is the toucan's eye. So when I place that on my paper, I wanna make sure it's up high. Preferably, you are using a blank piece of paper rather than one with lines, um, and you can certainly draw with a pencil. I like to show in a Sharpie just because it shows up better. But with the eye, it's two circles. I'm gonna put it up here near the top. So I'm gonna make the first circle and then I'm gonna put the second one inside of it like that and color that second circle in. The next step is the head. For the head, I look and I see that there is a line in front of the eye, a straight line below the eye, and then a curved line that connects those two together. After that, I'm gonna create part of the neck of the toucan. So I notice when I look at that, it kind of looks like a triangle shape. I'm gonna make a line that comes down and then go to the other end here of the head piece and I'm gonna connect that to it. In the fourth step, I am making the middle of the, the beak or the bill on the toucan. So it looks like that line comes out right here and it's actually gonna go pretty far. They have, if you look, they have a pretty big beak for a bird. Um, so I'm gonna take this line now, it looks like to make the top of the bill. So it's gonna start here at the top of the head and it's gonna come down and connect. And then the bottom of the bill is below it and it connects there as well. Once that's done, I'm gonna go to number seven here, which is where I make the wing. Now the wing is like a teardrop shape or a raindrop shape. So it's pointy on one end and it kind of makes a loop. So it's curvy on the other end. So I'm actually gonna start down here where the point for it should be. So I'm gonna maybe go right about, looks like about here, okay? And then I am gonna make that line almost touch the neck. It's not completely touching. It's almost touching. There's just a little space between. After that, I'm gonna make the belly. So I'm gonna go down here to the end of the neck and I'm gonna curve that line until it comes almost to the end of the wing. Then I am gonna make the back of the head. That actually starts up here and it curves around the head and it comes down. Then I'm gonna make the tail. Now the tail for mine is gonna get really close to the edge of the paper, but it's basically a couple of lines that come out. And then you can do like a wavy line on the end if you want. Um, your tail could be longer than this. I ran out of room. After the tail are the feet. And that's like making almost like a bumpy line. So bump, bump, bump. And then bump, bump, bump. After that, I'm gonna make the branch that the toucan is sitting on. Now the first line for the branch should be going kind of across the paper, but under the feet. The second line should actually go from the foot to the edge, so the feet are on the branch. They're not above it. And so from I start from the foot, and then I draw the line for that. Once you've done that, <clears throat> I want you to imagine the kinds of plants that you can see around where you live. So you could look out your window if it's not a nice day, or you could even potentially go outside and explore for a little bit. Um, in my yard, it's, it's raining today, so I can't really go out there right now, but in my yard, there are some bushes that are kind of zigzaggy like this. Now there's a couple of those, they're actually kind of in a row. And then I also have something called daylilies in my yard, and those have really long, kind of triangle-shaped leaves. Um, and they actually are in a couple of spots as well. So I'm going to make them come out from behind this bush. Um, let me think what else is in my yard. Oh, there are, um, there are buds on my tree branches right now because it's spring. So they kind of look like this. You can add some of those in. Um, I could even add like another branch coming into the picture, like a different part of the tree and put some buds on that. Um, in my backyard, I have some bamboo. So the bamboo, I would have to probably draw it behind everything. It goes up, so I'm not gonna go through the branch of the bird, but it comes up like this, and it's got what we call the 
the bamboo shoot. Um, and then it has these branches that come off of it, kind of like this. And on those branches are all these little leaves on both sides, like that. There's also something in my yard called honeysuckle. Um, and it's right now it's yellow. You might have seen some yellow plants outside. Those are probably honeysuckle. Um, it's like a bush with yellow little flower buds on it right now. So after I finish my bamboo, I can maybe draw some of that honeysuckle as well. There. I think I maybe need one more up here. So the honeysuckle kind of grows branches and then has these little like flowers on them like this. So you'll have to take a look and see what's in your yard because it may be different. I'm guessing not everybody has bamboo in their yard, for example. So you'll have to take a look and see what you have in your yard. Maybe you even have some flowers. Actually, we had one flower grow this year. We didn't have a lot. And it was kind of like this. It was a tulip. So it had like a stem and then it had part of the flower that kind of it was down like that, yellow, and then part that stuck up like that. So once you have filled up your picture with the plants that you can see, even if it's just some grass, it could be just some grass there too, um, you can also add a sky in your picture if you'd like. So um, right now it's pretty cloudy out, so I might draw some clouds in my sky because that's what it looks like today. Or maybe you're drawing this on a nice sunny day and you wanna put a sun in your picture. So that's up to you. Now, when you color your toucan, <clears throat> they're very colorful birds, but there are different types. You can see in Henry Rousseau's painting that a lot of the bird is black. There are definitely some black parts to the bird, but then you can see in his there are a lot of warm colors as well. Um, I know these are pretty small and hard to see, but on this, this paper here are some different types of real toucans, and the color is a little bit different on each of them. The, the yellow ridged one has blue and yellow on its face, and and then the, um, the keel build one has like green and red on the beak area. So it's kind of up to you to decide um, how you wanna color. You could look up pictures at home of toucans if you're interested in doing that, or this set of directions is available. You could get a closer look at these. Um, if I were gonna color mine, I can show you kind of up close here. This is the, the toco. So um, there's kind of like this dark orange here on the bottom. And I also noticed there's a little patch of black. So might get some black to finish that. And there's also black up on the tip here. Um, and then it looks like all of this part and the, the wing and the tail are all black. So I would use the black and do my three star coloring, make sure it's inside the lines, coloring the whole space. So I might need to slow down a little and take my time. Um, also choosing the colors that make sense. So for this, I'm choosing these colors because those are the ones that make sense if I want my toucan to look like this one. It looks like on this one, I need to be careful not to color his feet on accident because they are blue. So I'm just using the black here for the wing and then the tail. And I think I'll be done with black after that. It looks like I'm gonna need some yellow, some blue, and then a light kind of golden orange color to finish up. All right, so there's those parts. So then I'm gonna use this yellow up here for the rest of this. And mm, let's see, I need blue for around the eye and the feet. I have to be real careful in these small spaces. And then the last thing I need is that kind of golden, lighter orange color here for this part of the face. And then the rest of that neck part is white. Now, once you've colored your toucan in, you can finish coloring the picture um, using the colors that you see out in your yard or outside your window. Um, and then if you want to, you can also color the branch here brown. And then you're done. All right, have fun and enjoy.